to know if she leaked it or not. Well, she did, for sure. Today, Brandy's back in Beverly Hills. Myra snaps in San Antonio. Honestly, I just wanted to cry, you know, out of frustration. And Vanderpump is donezo. You Dude, care more about your image than your friendships. We're done. This is your reality check. I'm in. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It is that time again, time to dish on all your favorite reality shows. I am Lindsay Rodriguez, and today I am joined by the host of BET's Black Coffee, Jameer Pond. Hey. And from Married to Rock, we have the lovely Susan Holmes McKagan. Welcome, you guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, having thanks for having us. I am us. thrilled huh. that the two of you are here, especially because we have a lot to cover in our top five. So why don't we dive right into that off the bat. At number five, Chloe has confirmed that she is getting a fresh start following her breakup from Tristan. Chloe is moving on with her daughter True and making LA her permanent home once again. So she's pulling a LeBron and waving goodbye <laughs> to Cleveland. <laughs> you like that? Good, one? yeah. Thank Did you, you do that? that? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. But, okay, so what do we think? Do we think that this really is the end of Chloe and Tristan? Because she's given him chances in the past, but now is she is she done? I don't know. I don't know about her track record uh, if she's like completely done. I mean, you know, her track record of men that she's she's dated has been very interesting. And it hasn't been like a clean break with uh, especially Lamar Odom. Right. So I don't know because, you know, he was on drugs and got caught in a brothel. She still kind of <laughs> helped nurse him. She's very forgiving. She is say, forgiving. Yes. I don't know if this is like end all be all, but okay. it should sure make a good episode on yeah. Keeping Up With Kardashians. Mm -hmm. Susan? Well, I agree. I think it will certainly make for excellent television. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chloe, I'm rooting for you. I hope that, you know, these this will be some nice new beginnings. Yes. And, you, you know, I think she deserves some time, some me time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, she got some cute best. decorating things for the home. Have yeah. some fun uh, times with your girlfriend. Oh, and lots of ice cream. <laughs> lots and lots of ice cream. Lots of ice cream, <laughs> cookies ice cream. and such. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, number four, here's a funny one for you. Former bachelorette Jojo Fletcher's fiance Jordan Roger fell tush first onto a nail, not that way, don't worry, while working on a project <laughs> for their upcoming home renovation show. Now, Jordan shared the spill on Instagram saying, this is what love looks like. Alcohol in your butt crack does not feel good. He doesn't know ah. anything. Uh, what is the most, <laughs> <laughs> what is Was that you do? <laughs> what, what is the most painful or embarrassing injury mm. you guys have sustained? Would you like to go? Oh, first? me? Okay. okay, well, sure. Uh, gosh, there's been so many, but I, off the top of my head, I remember one time I was on this modeling shoot and it was to shoot my very first cover of Vogue mm -hmm. magazine. So yes. I, say, I was so excited and elated and I wanted to look and feel my absolute best. And of course, I had just the worst food poisoning of all time. Oh, and it my was gosh. just not oh. fun, not fun. But I had to rally and pull it together. It's, yes. you know, it was wow. Vogue. And, yeah. And the pictures came out great. Thank, thank God. Yes. Know, the photographer cool. was How amazing. You know, the hair and makeup. Yeah. So it was painfully, emotionally, you know, mentally, physically. But I rallied through. And I don't know. You just... I'm, it's life, right? That, that is wow. life. Wow. The show you, must go on. Right? So. Can, can you I, you know, that? I wish I had a glamorous story like that. <laughs> I do not. Uh, I was in college, and I zipped myself up. I'll just like say that. Like something about Mary? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 We yeah, have to yeah, move on yeah, to number yeah, three, because yeah, I, yeah. yes. I cannot. And it wasn't maybe... glamorous. I did tell you. I told you oh, that. Oh, okay. Well. And number three, Real <laughs> Housewives of okay. Atlanta. Black true, okay. and Apollo Nider is now an ex-con. Five years after pleading guilty to a money fraud scheme, Apollo has been released from prison, and he's now in a halfway house in Philly. But in the photos, look at him. He's already looking fit, and he has another fiancé. What is with ladies and jailbirds? What is the, I'm going to use a court pun here, what is the appeal? Oh, that was great. That was great. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know when, you, when, 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 when women. I don't know when they grow out of the bad boy phase. Mm. I don't know what that is because I'm not a bad boy. And I'm still never in the bad boy phase. Well, and I, I, I for one was in the bad boy. Okay. And I'm now into the, the previous bad boy looks kind of dirty. Bad boy, like but the reform bad has boy. a good heart. Good heart yeah. of gold. Does, yes, yeah. yeah. We want a heart of gold. It, yeah. You know, with a little maturity, it does does happen. Well, best of luck to them, you know? <laughs> yeah. At number two, after a two-year absence, Dance Moms matriarch Abby Lee is back with a new team and a new mm. season. Now, in 2015, Abby was sentenced to a year in prison, and upon release, she was diagnosed with cancer. She might be in a wheelchair this season, but that has not slowed her down, nor has it cooled off her infamous temper. The eighth season promises to bring more drama than ever. Would you guys let Abby teach your kids how to dance? 
<laughs> I, I want my kids to have high self-esteem, so no. Okay. I would not. Absolutely Beh. not. Beh. I'm, I too am going to say <laughs> absolutely not. Sorry, Abby Lee. I know, I know she's a 35-year veteran yeah. taking these kids to the nationals. and. Right. But it's a no. It's a no from us. Mm -mm. But look, I, just despite, I just have a different parenting style. Personally. Yeah, and that's fair yeah. enough. But look, yeah. despite all of that, we're so happy to hear that she announced that she is cancer free. She announced yes. that last month. So, yeah, Abby, congrats cool. yeah. and our thoughts are with you. At number one, we made it to number one. What else could it be? It is the now ex HBIC of Beverly Hills, Ms. Vanderpump. Lisa has hinted that she may not be at the reunion and has no plans of returning to the show. In fact, LVP told Daily Mail TV the objective of the reunion is to reunite, right? And I have no inclination to reunite with the women who've been harassing me for 10 months now. Are you glad Lisa's taking a stand or is she taking it too far? Hmm. I for one think it's great she's taking a stand. Yeah. I've I've watched this show since the beginning yeah. and I don't know Lisa Vanderpump I think she resonates as particularly strongly with me because she's always championing animal rights mm. and that's mm. such a special dear part of my life yeah. and I just love that about her because, you know, it's reality television. Yeah, it has to be exciting and colorful and and dramatic, but she always seems to implement, you know, a good message in there and still keep it fun. So I'm rooting for you, LVP. Yeah. <laughs> what about Jamia? What do you reckon? I just, I feel like people shouldn't be where they don't want to be, That's you know? Right. And and so she already has her own show. Like, it's good. Like, you don't need. <laughs> you yeah. don't need. We need her, but we she doesn't need her. <laughs> Well, we could just watch on a different day. And, yeah. you know, if she doesn't want to be there, I mean, I'd say you have the, the power, the money to do so. Yeah, you don't want to do that? Get yourself point. out of toxic situations. Well, I do yeah. want to bring up this tweet from one housewife fan who wrote, I hate that this is how it all ends. No resolution and no closure. LVP is out. So am I. Goodbye. Mm. So do you think LVP's absence will affect viewership for the show? Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah she I was mean, a big component. Yeah. Absolutely. She she's Queen B. She's she is. LVP. She, yeah. you know, she's, we've watched her through so many things with not only herself, but her her daughters, her yeah. restaurants, her Very husband, true. her friends. Well, we're gonna be debating about the LVP drama as well as other topics a little bit later, but for now, let's just dive into what happened on last night's episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because while Kyle was busy <laughs> planning, it. It. While Kyle was busy planning a lavish girls trip to Provence, Camille's invite became a hot topic of conversation. Take a look. So is Camille invited on this trip or? Of course she's invited. Obviously, right now, Camille's not on the best of terms with everyone, but I think that if I were to go out of my way not to invite Camille, that's really making a statement. Okay, so now it's been decided that Camille is, in fact, invited. Do you foresee any explosive confrontations while in France? <sighs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. thousand percent. Definitely. I mean, that yes. was a very leading question, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Because yeah. they haven't even left yet, and already Camille has had to face the music about her split loyalties. I've been around Lisa Vanderpump and Kyle in their relationship for, for a years. very, very long time. I see Vanderpump's point of view. I feel for Kyle. So I know the... The dynamic mm -hmm. of the relationship. And, you know, Lisa has been there for me, as she has been there for Kyle. Okay, so do you think Camille's loyalty is misplaced or are the other ladies just overreacting to the fact that she remains in a friendship with LVP? Mm. I mean, yes. it's tough because on one hand, I really am on Team Camille because I think her heart's in a good place. I think she truly means well, but she definitely is a people pleaser. So yes. she can mm -hmm. kind of play both sides, both sides perhaps, but I don't think she does it necessarily like, intentionally. Okay. I yeah. think just... just Different strokes for different folks. She's that type of personality. Right. Yeah, yeah. she's playing both sides of the coin, I guess. Yeah, and when you're doing that with a, a sole enemy or people go, hey, we don't like this person mm. specifically, and you're hopping back and forth, yeah, if you go to France, you might get a foot to your head. <laughs> you might. Because of all that anger from, from LVP and you. So, oh, you yeah. know, Good I point, just yeah. I, I always think about that. You're in isolated situations mm. alone, like France in a beautiful mansion. With all that wine. Oh, Come on. Yes. You're going to get hit with something. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. We also can't talk about last night's episode without addressing duh, 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 the return of Brandy Glanville. Ooh. She does have a direct hotline to Twitter or line to be honest. <laughs> and I don't know her well enough to know if she leaked it or not. Well, she did, for sure. And of course she's going to like you because you're young and pretty and blonde and she likes pretty things. Mm -hmm. She likes Dorit, she likes me. What do you think, guys? We want to see more of Brandy. Can she spice things up, particularly if LVP is not there? 
I think, I think, uh, I, don't, I don't know if she can carry the weight of LVP. No, I mean, no mm. one can. Yeah, but it, I think, you know, a little, a few episodes of that spice in mm. there, you know, because, you know, she's saying, hey, LVP was leaking something. I know. And um, it definitely adds more fuel to the fire. And it, it you know, it, it with her not there, it still adds, you know, that, that spice that I feel like we need on, on uh, Beverly Hills. I mean, well, if nothing else, Brandy definitely stays authentic to herself. Yeah. Right. She does not care what people think about her. And let's face it, that makes for great television. That's exactly. That's true. That's mm -hmm. true. But you know what? Even though you guys are all for it, one viewer was definitely not having it. She tweeted, hey, bravo, showing a clip of Brandy Glanville calling Lisa Vanderpump the devil is supposed to help the ratings. As a former viewer of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, mm. I've had enough of the vulgarity, still not watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And then LVP responded saying, Okay, well, I think that's enough for me. Finally, good morning. What does that mean? It's like the Da Vinci Code. I think. Is that her I, saying? I think we're kind of supposed to discern that that's it. White she's flag. Done. She's right. out. She's yeah. over it. She she gave it her all. But yeah. you know, maybe I don't know. It's very vague. Yeah, but do people yes. really stop watching? I mean, if it's a train wreck, and you know <laughs> it's a train wreck, I gotta tune in to see what's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I'll tell you what's gonna happen after the break. We are gonna have a great debate. So make sure you stick around because Susan and Jameer are gonna get into a little bit of a meltdown <laughs> or a showdown of their own. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I am still joined by Jameer Pond and Susan Holmes McKagan, who have become best friends. Besties! Besties forever. Besties forever! But you know what? It's time for me to break up this little friendship. Oh, no, man, no. already. Already. It is time for some teeing <laughs> off. All right, so in the fight of wrong versus right, you're each going to take the point of view of one of the Beverly Hills oh. housewives and argue why they're <laughs> justified in their actions. So you'll get 20 seconds on the clock to plead your case. And first up, it is Lisa Vanderpump versus Kyle. So Susan, you can vouch for LVP, Ooh. and Jameer, you can take Kyle's side in okay. this. So Susan, why don't you begin? We're going to get your 20 seconds on the clock. I mean, and your okay. time we, starts. We're yeah, here. just start. No, do it to me. Come on, okay. me, because I have to pick a winner. Oh, wow. Why I'm... Why your team, uh, team Lisa, Lisa LVP. in this last episode. Yeah. So, are you ready? I guess so. I'm just going to start talking a all lot. All right. Yeah. Countdown <laughs> is on. Go. Well, I'm all for team LVP because I just adore Lisa. I mean, I think she, she's a smart, elegant, graceful woman, and she does, she has that cheeky humor. Who, what don't you love about that British kind of cheeky humor? Mm -hmm. I mean, she... She never lets it get too serious. She always has fun, and, she, you know, she, she's been on the show <gasps> since... Oh, there you the go. There you go. 20 seconds. Very, very good. Nice, very nice. A, a very case nice. well made. Now, Jimmy, you are up. Your 20 seconds is on the clock, and you're going to bat for Kyle, so go. All right. So I do agree, LVP, from the inception. HBIC. But I do not like these theories of her leaking any information against her friends. I don't feel like you could be a true friend if you're talking about your friends, especially sp spreading lies and rumors, mm. possibly, to outlets. That's kind of corny to me. Uh, oh, oh that's there's up. a buzzer? There's a buzzer. Yeah, you only get 20 seconds. Oh, I didn't hear the buzzer first yeah, time. I saying. guess. OK, well. <laughs> I concur. I'm going to take Susan on this one. Oh, because I don't want to believe that LVP leaked the story. So We must believe a little bit. Lies. I don't know. That's <laughs> Next up, it is the Battle of the Blondes. It is Teddy versus Camille, because Camille has said that Teddy is a know-it-all, but we want to figure out if that's true or if uh, Camille is being overly condescending to the newest member of the group. So, Susan, you can take Camille's side on this one. Mm -hmm. And, Jameer, you're going to go to bat for Teddy. So, Jameer, why don't you start this one? Let's get your 20 okay. seconds on the clock and begin. As somebody who has been a newbie in situations, I understand what Teddy's going through, all right? She's coming in very female, dominated and driven, big personalities. And yeah, people might want to slight her, and that's okay. I feel like she might be a know-it-all. Why? Because she's just smart. And that's okay to be smart and, and be a know-it-all, and that's it. All right, okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> Didn't even get to make my main point. Wow. Goes by yes. fast. It does go by fast. On TV, yes. All right, well, Susan, now you're <laughs> up. Uh, so you're 20 seconds on okay. the clock, and All you're right. going to bat for Camille, and go. Okay, well, I agree. Being a newbie is tough, yeah. but Camille, too, was once a newbie. And okay. she, remember, she was on the cover of People, and 
It was oh, some you... some moments where, you know, she wasn't portrayed as maybe the world's best housewife. So I think, if anything, she wants to overly uh, compensate and prove herself that she's a nice person uh, and wants to keep the peace. Hey! Oh, that's the buzzer, okay. <laughs> that's the buzzer. Ooh, okay, you both made really good points. But <laughs> Jamir, I like that you came at it from the point of oh. view yeah. of the situation. So I'm gonna get, so it's one apiece. One yeah. piece. I'm pretty right. sure they ah, just did it's this. It's a draw. It's they a did draw. this strictly for <laughs> Well, we'll see, because there is a tiebreaker now, because okay. we have okay. one oh, last right. little round to go. It's Denise Richards versus Kim Richards. Hmm. It's Richards squared. Um, it all started when Denise stood up for Lisa Rinna at the Farrowween party. So, Susan, why don't you go to bat for Kim, in this case, and Jameer, you can make a rebuttal on behalf of Denise. Sounds okay. good? Hmm. Okay, so, Susan, why don't you begin, and your 20 seconds is on the clock, and go. Okay, well, Farrowween, I have to say, Kim was on her best behavior. She seemed actually, dare I say, demure. She was soft-spoken, she was kind. I feel like the other ladies, some of them were kind of more on the, you know, attack. And I feel like she was trying to kind of portray she has a little softer, gentler, kinder way. Yeah. Very well done, yeah. and in the 20 seconds as well. That, that was very well done. Jameer, oh, well, you, you are up, your time is on the clock, and it begins now. Look, I totally understand, definitely respect your point. Here's the thing about Denise. I feel like Denise has the heart of gold. Mm. I look to her for a great personality, and she's somebody who comforts everybody. Mm. I cannot go a per I can't go against a person who has that ability to make peace amongst everybody. I'm not saying she does it all the time. I'm saying she has the <laughs> ability, and she's an undercover brother, which is one of my favorite movies. Just uh, that <laughs> okay. Well, look, you both made fantastic points, but I'm gonna go with Susan. Oh! Chance, particularly Aww. when they're trying to make uh, you know things right in their life. But very good debate, you guys. Okay. I appreciate Thank it. you. That we are going to take a very, well very quick break. Well but don't go anywhere Anytime because when we read. come back, the three of us will be checking in on what's brewing <laughs> down in San Antonio. We'll be right back. I'm coming out because I'm concerned about your well-being. Do not speak to me that way. Welcome back, Jameer Pond and Susan Holmes McKagan are still here with me as we are about to chip away at that cheese may on Texicanas. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. No problem. So Absolutely. last night we saw an exhausted Mayra get very upset at Lorena's birthday lunch and Carla copped the brunt of it. Carla, okay, no no okay. 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 I'm coming out because I'm concerned about your well-being. Do not speak to me that way. So before we get into our next clip, let's do a very quick poll. Whose team are you on, Myra or Kala? Myra. 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 Hey. hey. Right. We agree. <laughs> By the end of the episode, the two had seemed to reconcile. Um, they did that at Kala's sip and see. So let's sip and see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I treat everybody with the utmost respect. I deserve it back. And but I'm happy and thank you for apologizing. I was just overwhelmed and. Uh, I put it on the wrong person. It did hurt you. me and bother me. I ran out to go I look for you. I know. So we're all Myra fans on these couches, but do we mm. think that she's kind of the tipping point, per se, for all the tension in the friend group? Because it kind of seems to all start with her, and then it ripples mm. out. Well, I think she, I mean, I like Myra, type A personality, so I can wholeheartedly relate with her. I feel like she's just extra giving her all. She's putting in so much. She threw the birthday party. She's no sleep. been a tremendous yeah. listener. She's trying to do the connect with the, the charitable mm -hmm. invite for uh, the other, uh, for Anna Anna Yancey. Yancey. Yeah. Um, so what's not to love about her? She's right. like, I want her to have, a, have her as a girlfriend. And me too. Yeah. She yeah. Throw me, here, a party. Throw me a party, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, you know, I, and I agree with you. I think there's a sense of her being overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. it's, she's got a lot going on. Yeah. It doesn't mean that she's, you know, directly like, oh, I hate you, but it's a lot, <laughs> and you just happen to be in the way of the reckoning. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can't blame her totally, but I do agree, like, you know, we need to kind of, you know, breathe. We might need mm. just to get a calendar. I think mm. it's hard as well yeah. because, yeah. like, she's new to the whole reality TV yeah. world. Yeah. yeah. And so she's dealing with everything in her normal life right. and having the camera. She's obviously a very sensitive person. Right. Mm. I don't know. I have so much time for Myra, but uh, it is, I don't have time uh, to do anything else <laughs> in the same here because it's time to take a very quick break. But when we come back, we'll be hitting you. Thanks, Conrad. We'll be hitting you <laughs> with another great moment in reality TV history. Stick around. <laughs>
Welcome back. What a fun show we've been having today. Thanks so much to Jameer and Susan for bringing all the good vibes. Now, everyone, please make sure to catch Jameer on Black Coffee. That's Wednesdays at 10 a.m. on BET's YouTube. So, yeah, give a little promotion. <laughs> and Susan, you're a New York Times bestselling yes. author. That is amazing. Your novel is out yeah. now. It is called The Velvet Rose. It's available everywhere books are sold. It took nine years to write. So congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. On, uh, on birthing your, your book. That's incredible. <laughs> right now, it is time for some retro reality, courtesy of one Mr. Ashen Kutcher. Enjoy. We're at Justin Timberlake's house. We're inside. We're seizing his property because he owes back taxes. In this 2003 episode of Punked, Ashton Kutcher's undercover crew convinces Justin Timberlake that the IRS is repossessing everything the 22-year-old pop star holds dear. If the fee is not recouped, we'll have to have a public oh, auction for this night. The dogs. Now the dogs are, are put in a government pound and they'll be taken care of. You took my dogs? Ashton's intentionally clumsy charade. Do not step on my belongings, please. Along with JT's emotional and somewhat gullible reaction, uh, it's government property now. Made this one of the most unforgettable moments in reality history. So you don't make enough money on music to pay off your taxes, huh? Maybe you should try TV. <laughs> I kind of miss that show. Now, before we go any further, I have to correct myself because I said that your show was Wednesdays at 10 a.m. on BET, but it's weekdays. It's, it's every weekdays, day. yes. Every Monday day. Monday through Friday. I didn't even catch that you said man. Wednesday, yes, but yes. every day. On <laughs> We've got to wrap it up, but I am Lindsay Rodriguez, and I will check you tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. Yeah. New York Times best yes. selling. Oh,